Da-da. Welcome. It is indeed Monday. With the Motor Soccer Diaries, I am Luke. Uh, this is the Suzuki SC650, which I've been riding for the last few days. Uh, done a couple of reports on it. Got the onboard camera on now. I'm going to take it out uh, for a spin. Going to work now for the first time, and then uh, I'm going to take it out to Street Bike later and pick up my new challenge, which you're going to absolutely love. It's the FL125. I'm going to have a gallon of fuel on it, and I'm going to see how many miles I can do on that gallon. But uh, yeah, time to work kind of you know exactly what I feel about this bike. I do like it. Uh, I do, you know, as, as with all bikes, uh, I think you can really feel the point of it. I love the V2 and all that kind of stuff, but I must admit, there is one thing about this, maybe it's just a twin, it almost feels a little bit cheap, if you know what I mean. Maybe, no, you, uh, that's the wrong word, not cheap, but almost plasticky because it hasn't got that richness of a four cylinder. It's a little bit more industrial, but you know what? Once you get used to it, that's almost a good thing, but, um, but it is very different from a four cylinder bike. But, you know, that's our point. These uh, offer you uh, different choices, different options. If every bike was the same, it would be boring, wouldn't it? Um, and uh, I quite like it. I think it gives it a bit more character, personally. But anyway, time to set off. I've got the onboard camera on. Run safe, my friends, and let's uh, crack on. Right then, returned home on the SV650S Suzuki. Uh, reason being is street bikes. My new steed, I think, got something a little bit special for me planned. They've told me to turn up in full racing leathers. Um, and be prepared to be blown away. Um, but it's not ready for me yet. They said they need to have some time to put the bikes on and pick up tomorrow. It means I've got this for one more day. And I was saying earlier about how I feel it's a little bit more industrial because of that twin engine over the four cylinder. But let me explain. This is the noise it makes. Do you see what I mean about that? It does feel a little bit different, but I really like it. What it adds, what it lacks, I should say, in almost refinity, it makes up with that rawness that. Remember when I rode the Viola 1125R, that, that racing twin that I absolutely love? I mentioned it felt like you were riding on like an industrial atomic buzzsaw. Similar to this, obviously it hasn't quite got the oomph, only being a 650, but it's so responsive. You've got to love the twin for the amount of torque that it gives you. The bike itself, handling-wise, is one of my favourite kind of 600 uh, size bikes that I've had. It really, really wants to be chucked around. I mentioned it feels a little bit light. Um, not, you know, say for instance with the biggest profile back tyre like something like an R6 would have or, you know, a full on racer bike, but it allows you to really chuck it around. Those brakes are amazing. The ride and suspension is top notch, but you'd expect that from a Suzuki. And it's a lot of fun, you know, and that engine really has got the power to, uh, you know, make it a bit more fun. I've got some onboard footage for you. Uh, I'm going to miss it when I take it back tomorrow, but I'm excited about what street bike is saying this new thing is going to be that's going to blow me away. So I'll put this away for the night. I think I'm going to go and have a cheeky bevy or two. And then tomorrow I'll be prepared to go out the street bike, get a new one. I'm also getting a new Harley drops off tomorrow. And then, my friends, I'll be riding the R1200R for the rest of the week until I get on the Harley. Because that BMW from the guys at Brindley Honda is the ultimate kind of cruiser tour with heated grips. And as it's getting cold, that's a good thing. So until next time, my uh, illustrious compadres, ride safe, as they say. Thank <laughs> you.